It has been 37 weeks. Question to anyone who knows, is 37 weeks near term or full term? So I'm hearing different opinions. This week was definitely very busy for us. It started off with my birthday on Monday. And if you're interested to know what we did for my birthday, go ahead and check out that video. I'll link it down below. Then yesterday we had another doctor's appointment and we finally have our normal doctor back. I've said in a past video, our normal doctor actually had a baby herself. So she was on maternity leave for a little bit, but she's finally back. We're super excited because we love our doctor. I'll just go through pretty quickly some of the stats that we're at right now in terms of the pregnancy and growth and everything like that. First off, my waist, <laughs> if you're interested to know, before pregnancy, my waist was 25 inches around. Now it's 36 inches. So I've gained 11 inches around my waist. All baby, I promise. And I weigh about 125 pounds. So again, I've really gained about 20 pounds throughout this entire pregnancy so far. At the doctor's appointment that we had, when they measured my belly, I was measuring at 34 centimeters, which is a lot better than before. It's more in the normal range, I guess, for being at 37 weeks. Measuring 34 is not bad. The baby's BPN was at 130. So again, very healthy, very good sign. He's still moving a ton. I still feel him all the time. <laughs> At this appointment though, our doctor checked my cervix and found out that I am one centimeter dilated already and I'm 60% effaced, meaning that my cervix is about 60% thinned out. Our doctor seemed pretty impressed with how thin my cervix was already and how low it is. Um, and she could feel the baby's head, so the baby is officially, I'm gonna say, permanently head down and has dropped. And I can definitely tell in the way I walk that the baby has dropped. <laughs> Nate thinks that the baby dropped during a hike that we did last week with the siblings. We walked for over an hour I think that definitely affected the baby <laughs> and honestly at the end of that Nate looked at me and just said wow you are super low and super big now and today we went out and Nate and I like to do kind of run walks where Nate runs and I walk and then we meet up at the end that was a lot more difficult than any other walk that I've done so far because the baby has dropped and so my posture and balance is completely out of whack now and I'm not quite sure how to walk correctly or properly with this huge weight <laughs> in front of me. But it's all good. We are certainly ready for labor and delivery. We have the car seat in our car now. And if you guys are following me on social media, you'll see that everything else is set up. Everything back here is set up for the baby and then our bedroom where the baby is going to sleep for now. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future pregnancy videos as well as the labor whenever that happens. Um, and as I promised last week, I will be doing a kind of minimalist uh, video for you guys of how we are organizing all of the baby things back here and as well as in our bedroom with not a lot of space and not a lot of money. And thank you for watching today.